Um, so we're just first fixing in a bungalow today. We've laid out the bases at the weekend, so that's all ready to go. But we thought we're just going to try a different method using this um, Kai Wheats uh, laser. We use it a few times. It seems a really good quality. To be fair, it comes in uh, comes with a spare battery, a bracket, and you can also buy the additional uh, laser detector there for like long runs, so it could detect it right over there if the laser wasn't that powerful. Um, but what we're going to do now, Nate's gone around and put all the uh, catch nogs in everywhere. So we're going to get the laser on the base plates and just draw the lines everywhere where the walls go. And then we're going to build them up like normal and then just hopefully nail them up to the lines rather than using the six foot level. And just try and get in the 21st century a little bit more. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's give this a go. Um, and also, if you wanted to buy this, I'll put um, a link in my description. Uh, and it'll have a discount code as well. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Using the laser, that's literally taken us about five, 10 minutes to do the whole house, where normally with a six foot level, take us a few hours probably. Um, and with the green line, it's, it's a lot clearer to see. The last laser I had was a red line, and in daylight, it's a struggle to see it. So you can see it well with the green line, and if you did struggle, you could use the, uh, the detector anywhere. Uh, it seems really good build quality, to be fair, so we'll try and use it more often. I'll just have a quick look at this laser now. Um, this is the model. It's the KT360A. Um, it's got a few quite good features. You've got this lock here. It's all dead easy to use. So if you put the laser in your van and stuff, you can lock it out and just stop it wobbling. Just trying to protect it a bit more. Uh, that's also how you turn it on. You've got the battery indicator at the back there. And then it's literally just these three. Few, three different options of lasers. You've got the one at the top side and the one there. Like that. And also you've got that button there, which I think is to the uh, detector, so, it, so the detector works with it. It also seems to make the laser a bit brighter as well, I'm not sure if that's a thing. Yeah. So, let's give this a little test today.
It's now it's now one o'clock. We've basically got all the walls up. Just need to do um, these two boxes here, just next to the shower. Uh, what we'll do in them, with, in the first bit, is uh, we'll just ply the top of that cupboard there, just for the air test, and then ply the top of that cupboard, um, just because it's a it's an empty void. So we'll just ply that because it doesn't get plasterboarded inside. Just stop any air going up into the loft space. Um, <clears throat> I need to get in another house now, getting, house, uh, getting it ready for plasterers tomorrow. So Nathan will carry on in here now, just do them, a couple of walls, nogs, door heads, a few radiator patrices to do, uh, carry on with this ply. Uh, yeah, but the main thing is we've tried out that laser. What do you reckon's a laser knife? Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? 